Hurricane Matthew is beginning to bring tropical storm conditions to the Florida coast as millions of people brace for a direct hit. Hurricane Matthew remains a Category 4 storm. Forecasters say it could bring a life-threatening storm surge, damaging winds and flooding rainfall to eastern Florida before heading toward the Georgia coast and coastal South Carolina over the weekend. President Obama declared a state of emergency in South Carolina and Florida on Thursday. More than 2 million people in the southeast region are expected to head inland to avoid the storm. One and a half million people are under evacuation orders in Florida alone. Up and down the Florida coast, officials are urging people to evacuate and find safety inland. We go now to the mayor of Melbourne, Florida, Kathy Meehan, who is on the phone. Mayor, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. If the forecast models are correct, it looks as if Matthew could directly hit Melbourne in a few hours. What is your biggest fear? Uh, biggest fear is the, um, the surge. Um, you know, the, the water surge. And those uh, individuals that decided not to evacuate on the uh, beachside community, that's my concern. Because once there's heavy winds, then the bridges will close down and we can't go over and rescue. So that's my biggest concern. So I'm hoping that they will go ahead and evacuate. Did enough people evacuate so far? Or are you t saying that there are just too many people that are still left there in harm's way? Yes, that's right. There's still a lot of people uh, on the beachside community. You know, Cause it, I'm, yeah, because on Facebook, um, I'm also seeing that too. So it's, there's got to be some more individuals um, on the beach side. And Mayor, where will your first responders be in the next few hours? Are they out of harm's way or are they going to be out? Uh, they're going to have to, you know, play it by ear, but normally they don't go out on uh, harm's way. So, um, that's that's going to be hard. Yeah, I imagine that to make is that a, decision. I imagine that's yeah. a big concern if you still have people who yes. haven't evacuated. Is there still time to evacuate at this point? Yes, as far as I understand, the bridges are still open, and yes, they can evacuate. So, what is the message that you want to send out to people right now? We know that there are there are shelters uh, across the state that yes. are open. Where is the closest shelter for people near Melbourne? It depends on where they uh, live. Uh, there are several shelters. You can go on the Brevard County Emergency um, Facebook, and you'll, there's a list of shelters. Okay. So, yes. And, Mayor, you mentioned the storm surge, and that is what we keep hearing, that it could be so damaging. Give us an idea of how high the, wind, the waves could be and how damaging it could be to the coast. We're talking about up to 10 feet of a storm surge. Yes. That's right. That's exactly right. And that, that's dangerous. And I know I, uh, I have a house on the river, so I know what water can do. Um, we were affected by Hurricane um, Jean, so uh, we lost our roof because there was a tornado. So it's just it's not good to be uh, near the ocean or the river. All right. Again, uh, Mayor Kathy Meehan from Melbourne, Florida, again, urging people to evacuate. And as she mentioned, there is still time to do so. Mayor, thank you so much and stay safe tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. And thank you so much. Appreciate your time.